Hi there everybody, my name is Brandon and today I'm going to be doing a guide to HID headlights. This guide should be able to help you and help you determine whether or not you want HID headlights in your car and should tell you everything you need to know and to take into consideration when buying HID headlights. First off, I'm going to start off with what is an HID. Um, you may notice going down the road, head, uh, cars with bright white lights or sometimes bright blue, sometimes even crazy colors. Um, just going down the road, sometimes a purplish tint to it. Um, these are what's known as a high intensity discharge or HID light. Um, how this is different from your typical light bulb, um, your typical car light actually has a filament inside and as electricity passes through this filament it's heated to massive temperatures causing the filament to glow. You can notice this by going to your car pulling out the headlight bulb and noticing there's a little piece of metal inside of the glass. This is an HID light bulb. It does not have a filament. You may notice this bubble inside of there. This, this type of bulb is what's known as an arc lamp. So an actual arc or bolt of electricity is actually passing through that bubble and it heats gases. It's a lot like a fluorescent lamp hanging from your ceiling. Um, it requires a ballast in order to maintain the power. This is actually the high beam out of my truck. Um, this is a 10,000K HID, which kind of gives it a bluish color with a 55 watt ballast. Um, I do not recommend a 55 watt ballast or low beam bulbs. 55 is your typical high beam and 35 watt is your typical low beam. What Now you may notice also that your, your car or truck may have a 55 watt low beam. It's not required on HIDs because 35 watts is plenty of power for a low beam due to the fact that HIDs are much brighter than your typical headlight. Now, I personally purchase HIDs through DDM Tuning. DDM Tuning is a website that you know that you can get actual real HIDs. Um, there are very many knockoffs and very many people think that they have HIDs when in actuality they do not. For instance, any light, say at AutoZone, um, Advanced Auto Parts, O'Reilly's, wherever you go, there are performance headlights, you could say. Um, a lot of these go by the name Xenon, some of them will say HID, um, and these bulbs are blue in color, giving you the idea that they're going to produce a blue light. If this, if this is true, um, sorry about that, if you actually come in contact with these and see them and have noticed them or you have them in your car, you do not have real HID bulbs. These lights are just like your typical halogen bulbs. Um, and they do have a filament on the inside. There are very many kits on eBay also that claim to be real HIDs and many people also buy bulbs with a ballast just because they think it's an HID. Just because it has a ballast it is an HID. When some regular lights are powered by a ballast you'll notice this in some of the kits on eBay for $9.99 and such. I personally have $120 in my headlights shipped to my door and it is worth every penny of it personally through DDM tuning and that um, website will be down in the um, info box. Um, I'm also open to any questions that you have on HIDs um, but I'm gonna keep on going here on the bulbs and some things about colors on bulbs. I'm gonna start off with the colors. Um, you'll notice that HIDs are measured in what's called Kelvin. For instance 10,000 K would be 10,000 Kelvin. This is the color temperature. Your typical light in your car right now is also measured in Kelvin. It is probably around 4,500 Kelvin and this produces the yellowish white light that you see. And you can actually buy HIDs in that color around the 4,500 Kelvin range and they are extremely bright. Now one thing people don't know is the higher up in Kelvin that you go the lower your visibility is. For instance, these these 10,000 K bulbs would be much less bright than a 5,000 K bulb. Um, however, with a 5,000 K bulb, you don't get the bluish tint. A 5,000 K bulb 
is more of a white light. Um, I personally, if you, if you want to mix between the two, but you don't want to lose a lot of visibility, I recommend an 8000K, or you get a little bit of, of a blue tint with good visibility, which I'm not saying 10,000K has bad visibility, don't get me wrong, it has great visibility as compared to OEM bulbs, but I personally do not recommend going up to 12,000K, which is extremely blue. Um, I actually have 10,000K high beams and 6,000K low beams. Um, now I will also tell you one of the major downsides of an HID bulb and that is the fact that all HIDs take time to warm up. By take time to warm up, I mean as soon as you turn them on, they're not at their maximum potential. They don't reach their maximum potential until about 10 seconds into it. At least that's how it is on my high beams. My low beams a little less long. Um, 